we need to look up the percentage grade, find a match in the first column, return the 2.7 decimal grade from the third column, and bring it back to the cell. But if I change the first column of the lookup table from 1 to 2, now I need my formula to look up the percentage grade and find a match in the second column and return the correct decimal grade. <laughs> Now there's two ways we can think of this. We can think of one or two different columns to match the percentage in, and then a single decimal grade column. Or we can think of it as one, two different complete lookup tables. If we're thinking of it as two different columns to get a match, then I'm going to use index to look up between these two columns, one of the two columns. Array, those are all the items to look up, F4 to lock it, comma. We want all the row numbers in either one or two column. So we leave it empty or put a 0. I'm going to leave it omitted. And then the column number is simply one or two. Now F4, close parentheses. That formula looks up a column. If I hit the F9 key, we can see those values correspond with this column. Now notice I have a bunch of rows hidden. Control Z, that delivers the first column to find our match. After the equal sign, we're going to use a second index. And now in array, these are the values we're trying to go and get and bring back to the cell, F4, comma. Now I just need the correct row number for that percentage grade. So this is where we use match. Look up value, we're looking up that percentage grade, comma. Look up array, that's one of two columns. And guess what? Matches default is approximate match. So we leave that third argument out. Close parentheses, close parentheses. And that formula will work. Control Enter, copy it down. Click in the last cell, F2. Now we can simply change to second column. And now that percentage grade is finding a match in the second column and returning the correct decimal grade. Now, if we already use that little bit right there to look up the column, Control-C, well, we can use the new lookup function, XLOOKUP. We're looking this up, comma, Control-V. That's the column to find a match, comma, return array. Well, there it is, F4. And here we have to comma. We don't need to worry about if not found, but you could put something there if the value wasn't found. And for us, since we're doing approximate match, we need exact match or next smaller. So minus 1. And that formula will work. Copy it down. We could also use the original lookup function, lookup. We're looking this up, comma. And like xlookup, we have a lookup vector. That's the range to find a match in, comma. And then result vector. Those are the items we want to go and get and bring back to the cell, F4. And the beauty of the original lookup function is it only does approximate match lookup. Control Enter, copy it down. Now all three of these were choosing between one of these two columns and then getting a decimal grade. But here's my favorite. Why not just use the choose function? Because index, we have a one or two comma, then we simply can find either the full lookup table, F4, comma, or the second lookup table, F4, close parentheses. Now we could put this inside of VLOOKUP, but why bother? Because with VLOOKUP, then we'd have to worry about the column index number. And guess what? Lookup does two different types of lookup. And remember, it does only approximate match. So we're going to do the second one. Look up the percentage grade, comma, and the array. That has to be a two-way table. And guess what? It always brings a value from the last column back to the cell. So in this case, it doesn't matter if it has three or two, because it's always going to return something from the last column decimal grade. So that's our formula, close parentheses. Oops, F4. Control-Enter, copy it down. Now we can change, hey, I want to look up the first column. And just like that, our formulas are working. 
All right, I want to hear what you guys think. Maybe you guys have a different formula that's even cooler. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to see an awesome video about how to do lookups from lots of different lookup tables, check out this one. And if you want to learn more about the lookup function, here's a great video. Thank you.